Hey James, what's going on with you at the moment? Do you have a moment to chat? Guess what? I've just arrived here. Any chance we can hang out? How about we go and have some fun for the rest of the evening? Sorry, what's up? Do you need help with something? Hey, nothing specific in mind. I was just thinking it'd be awesome to hang out with my buddy James. Let's catch up and spend some quality time together. What do you say? Sorry Alice, I'm still at work. I don't think I can really take the time off to go and hang out. Hey, don't be like that my friend. You know deep down how much fun we have when we hang out together. You know you're itching for it. Let's make it happen. You do know that if I could go out and see you, then I would. But I'm still at work and I can't get out early. Okay. So then, should I go to where you and I are to meet up? Is that what you're trying to say? No, are you reading my messages? I'm still at work right now. Well, sure, I get that. But I just really want to see you. So it's one or the other. Actually, that reminds me. I meant to talk about this with you earlier, but you always ask to hang out at the last second when I can't really control whether or not I'm free, and it really bothers me sometimes. What? Why does something like that bother you? I thought it would be great for us to catch up as much as possible since we're friends. Look, when we're both back at home and visiting, you know that I have no problem meeting up basically any time. But you come all the way out here to the city just to hang out with me? I just feel like a little heads up would have been nice, you know? I'm just really busy right now and can't have any last minute's plans sprung on me. Because after this, I still have to take care of some errands too. Hey, I get it if you got a lot going on. But shouldn't hanging out with me take priority over all that? Alice, come on. You know that isn't fair to say. I have responsibilities. Hey, James. What's going on? Why are you being so harsh? Is this your way of saying you don't want to be friends anymore? I'm really let down by your behavior, James. It feels like I'm the only one who values our friendship, not the other way around. That isn't fair. You know that isn't what I think. We go way back and you're still a good friend of mine. I'm just saying that lately you have been really pushy about hanging out and have been dropping in without any regard for what I might be doing. Well, we're almost in our 30s, you know. I guess I was just thinking it's about time. No more beating around the bush. Let's have an open conversation and get to the heart of things. About time for what? Hey, we've been friends for what? Around 25 years? Considering our history, don't you think it's about time we had a serious discussion about marriage? Let's reflect on our bond and explore the possibility of taking our relationship to the next level. Sorry, I don't think I'm really following you right now. Who is going to marry who? Oh, come on, James. You know what I'm trying to say. Or do you really want me to just come out and ask you myself? Alice, I'm sorry, but I really do not have a single clue about what you're talking about right now. I mean, you and me, James. We should get married, don't you think? Considering our strong bond after all these years, it feels like the most natural thing to do, don't you think? Look, Alice, I really have no idea how this idea popped into your head, but you do know that just can't happen, right? What do you mean? Oh, wait, <laughs> there you go with that dry humor of yours again. I'm not joking, I'm already engaged. I'm actually going to be getting married next month. Wait, hold on a second. When did this decision happen? And why didn't anyone bother to inform me about it? Oh, I told you about my engagement before, but it seemed like you were caught up with other stuff and didn't really pay attention to what I said. By the way, I thought you already had a boyfriend. Actually, I thought you had told me you got married to him. Did I misunderstand? Oh, I think I understand what's happening now. Did you get engaged because you felt jealous after hearing about my marriage? That must have been tough for you, James. I'm really sorry if I unintentionally hurt you with my news. But you know, we can't change the past, can we? Let me make it up to you from now on, my love. What? It isn't like that at all. I don't feel jealousy or anything like that for you. I mean, we're only friends because our houses were so close to each other growing up. But I really don't think of you in any other terms. Well, you don't have to worry about that. That marriage is already taken care of. I ended everything, just so that we could be together. So there is nothing to worry about. I've already thought of everything. Now all that's left is for you and me to get married. Exciting times ahead. Alice, everything you just said only worried me a whole lot more. Anyways, I've already started to look into wedding venues and thinking about who we could invite to our wedding. No, seriously, please stop this. What? What do you mean stop? I mean that I really am engaged to someone else. We already live together. You two already live together? What are you talking about? Just that. I'm telling you the truth, Alice. My fiance and I have already been dating for three years. 
we're going to be getting married and that is that. So please don't make this any more difficult than it needs to be. And please just stop dropping by unannounced asking to hang out. Unannounced? I just thought that you wanted to see me. So you mean we're not going to get married? No, we're not getting married. Have I not made that perfectly clear already? I've never once had any kind of romantic feelings for you, Alice. Not once in all the years that we've known each other, okay? So please, just understand that and let's drop this whole topic, okay? James, I seriously have no idea what you're talking about right now. But I know that something must be wrong because this isn't right. Did you really just go and get engaged without asking me first? How do you think that makes me feel? You need to break it off with this other woman before we get married. Do you understand? Alice, I have already told you. You and I are not getting married. Ever. No, no, this can't be. Well, it is, so you just have to deal with it. But we've been friends ever since we were little. And? So what? So what? We were supposed to be the only ones for each other. We have to get married. I mean, we've never even dated each other before. Why do you think that I would want to marry you all of a sudden? Where is the law that says that you have to marry your oldest friend, huh? I don't get it. Why would you do something like this to me? I'm not doing anything to you. I'm just living my life. Unless... This is all just a way for you to have a trial run before we finally end up together, right? I mean, it's possible you're using this as a stepping stone for our future. If that's the case, let's not waste any more time and make it official between us. No more rehearsals. Let's embrace what it's meant to be and take the leap together. Alice, literally, what is that even supposed to mean? I have no idea where you're getting all these ideas from. It's fine, don't worry. It's already been decided that you and I are going to be married. I won't accept no for an answer. So you and your fiancé should go ahead and break up now. This is not going to happen. We already have our destination for our honeymoon picked out. The wedding has been planned. We aren't going to be calling anything off or breaking up, okay? Oh, I understand. In that case, if you keep all the reservations, would you consider swapping your fiancé for me? That would allow us to proceed with our marriage plans and enjoy the honeymoon together. What? Are you crazy? I'm not going to swap the two of you out. Just get that idea out of your head. You're being weird, you know that? Well, fine. I get it. But can you at least tell me where you're going for your honeymoon? Well, we were thinking of going somewhere in Europe, actually. James, I knew it. I knew you loved me. You still remember the promise you made to me. I knew this was an act. Oh, you really had me going there for a little bit, you know. But now I get it. I get what all of this is now. What? No, wait, what do you think all of this is? I knew that no matter what you said, I'm still the one that you really want to marry. Although, you'll really need to make some changes once we get married. Alice, what are you even talking about? What do you think I just said to you? Well, I'm going along on your honeymoon trip with you, and we're just going to keep it a little secret from your wife. That is not going to happen. I'm not going to see you on my honeymoon. It's ridiculous, and you know it. Well, when do you go, huh? You can at least tell me that. I mean, it wouldn't hurt if you just tell me this, right? We'll leave in about a month. Got it. That should still give me enough time to get my tickets, too. Then we can meet up in Europe. Oh, I'm so excited, James. I'll make sure to look my best when we eventually get together. But I haven't even told you where my wife and I are going. So why are you so convinced that we're going to meet up? That's fine. Leave it to me. I'll figure it out. Alice, I think you might need some serious psychiatric help, okay? Yay! We're going together. Even if you get married, you still know that I'm the girl for you. After all, we've been best friends for so, so long. I seriously don't get what is going on here. Are you really going to try and crash my honeymoon? Don't you worry about me, hun. I'll figure it all out myself. I'll see you there, okay? But I haven't even told you where we're going to go. You don't even know where to buy tickets. It's almost impressive how much you're buying into your own fantasy here. Alice, are you there? James, guess what? I'm here. Sorry, what? You're here? What are you saying? I mean that I made it here safe and sound. You must have been a bit worried about me, huh? I know you inside and out. You've always had this incredible kindness and thoughtfulness towards everyone you met. That's exactly why you're the perfect match to be my husband. Your caring nature and genuine heart makes me feel so grateful to have you by my side. 
I wasn't worried or even thinking about you. What are you talking about right now? Is this about wanting to crash my honeymoon? Because we've already left, so I don't know what you're talking about. That's what I'm saying. I left too, and now I'm arrived. I followed you. And just where did you follow us to, I wonder? I just arrived in Barcelona, of course. Now, where are you? Are you coming to pick me up? This is my first time abroad, so hurry up and get me. Well, that will be difficult because we are in Paris. Wait, you're where now? Paris, why are you in Barcelona is the real question. Well, because you said that you'd be traveling to Europe. I thought that you remembered the promise that we made to each other. Promise? I seriously have no idea what you're talking about, Alice. But we promised. I thought you remembered. We promised to get married in Barcelona. I do not have a single clue about what you're talking about. Don't tell me that you actually forgot the promise that we made to each other. Well, I'm afraid that I did. I have no idea about any promise, and I never once thought about marrying you. What are you talking about? But we made the promise to each other when we were little. Don't you remember? I said that I wanted to get married in Barcelona, and you said that would be a good spot. Remember? It seems like you leaped to quite the conclusion from that one little statement, Alice. But I never once thought of you in any romantic way, and I certainly never thought about marrying you. I honestly don't know how you got into your head of that I did feel that way about you. So, you mean I've had it wrong this whole time? I would say so, yes. But the fact that you went so far as to fly to Europe just to chase this delusion. I mean, are you serious? Did you really come all this way to Europe? What do you mean? Of course I'm here. You said that you were going to Europe, so I came to meet you. I thought that you'd remember our promise to each other after all these years. But now you're telling me none of it's true? I don't even know what to think is true anymore. But I do know that I've tried to explain the truth to you over and over again. You mean about us not getting married? So you really mean it? Yes, I meant it. You and I are not going to get married. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Do you understand me? I can't believe that I'm even having this conversation with somebody. But I thought that we loved each other. I thought that we've loved each other this whole time. You thought that we loved each other? I have never once ever felt anything close to love for you, Alice. How can you say something like that? So, you mean you were just tricking me this whole time? No, I wasn't tricking you either. So then, you were just pretending as if we're friends this whole time. You know it's all your fault that I felt this way for you. Ever since we were in school together, all the way up until graduation, I thought we were destined to be together. Well, I'm telling you that I never once saw it that way. That can't be. Of course, you've been my friend ever since we were little, but lately you've been overstepping our boundaries. Just because we've known each other for a long time doesn't give you the right to dictate how I live my life. Especially when we never once dated this whole time that we've known each other. Of course, a lot of that had to do with all the rumors that you had spread about me. You know, you scared off every girl that I was ever interested in school. Well, that's because I thought that I was the only girl for you. Well, you're not, okay? So enough pretending as if you are. What do you think this is? Some kind of tween drama or something? You think that just because we grew up in the same neighborhood that we have to get married? Get real! Please, you don't have to be so mean about it to me. I was even going to let you marry your other woman. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I don't need your permission to do anything, okay? This is my life. But I came all this way here just to see you. Doesn't that mean anything? The least you could do is come and pick me up. I already told you that we are in Paris, not Barcelona. But they're close, aren't they? No, they're not close at all. They are in completely different countries. I have no idea what you thought you were going to accomplish doing all this. But if you really did come all the way out to Europe and are in Barcelona, the least you should do is enjoy the sights. Wait, James, what are you saying? You can't just leave me here. What am I supposed to do? Please, I came all the way to see you. You can't just abandon me in this foreign country. Who is abandoning you? I never once remember inviting you to come along in the first place. You made that decision yourself. But seriously, to be so deluded as to fly halfway across the world for nothing, you really need to get some help. So then you really never liked me? Is that really true? Alice, 
Please open your eyes. You have to face reality. I never once liked you. How many times are you going to make me say it? If anything, I thought of you more as a nuisance. Especially since after I moved and you got more and more pushy about hanging out. But I think I'm going to use this marriage as an excuse to never have to talk to you ever again. What? What are you talking about? You mean you're going to stop talking to me? You're really cutting me out of your life. That's right, Alice. I'm cutting you out entirely. I don't want anything to do with you ever again. And I don't plan on helping you out of this mess, so find your own way home. If you really think that it's my fault that you came all the way out here, then you are sorely mistaken. But James, we were supposed to have our secret wedding here without your wife knowing. I really honestly believe that's why I came all the way here. I can't believe you. How could you do this to me? I didn't do anything to you, and I don't appreciate you trying to blame me for this. Try scrolling back up and reading through our old messages. It is all written there in plain English for you to understand. It shouldn't be this difficult. Okay, fine. I get it. I'll give up this time. No, not this time. Just give up forever. We are never going to be a thing. I'm literally already married. But this is my first time going overseas and I'm all by myself. So can you at least do something to help me out? Sure, here's my advice. Go find a hotel and ask what there is to do. You're an adult. You can figure this out by yourself. But I don't even have any reservations anywhere. Wait, what? What do you mean? I mean, I thought I'd be meeting you here. So I didn't bother planning anything else because I thought you had it covered. I thought that this whole thing was your plan. Wow. If that is true then, I really just don't even know what to say to you anymore. Just please, don't contact me again, alright? Wait, no. Please, you can't just abandon me here. Actually, I can. I'm in the middle of my honeymoon and really should be getting back to my wife. So seriously, stop messaging me. Okay then, see ya. James, wait. You can't do this to me. Good luck getting home. Don't bother telling me once you're back. Alice went to Europe hoping to be pampered without a hotel reservation or any money. Instead, unable to speak any Spanish, Alice struggled to find a place to stay. She had thought the drama was over, but then she realized that her passport had been stolen and flew into a panic. There was still some time before flight home, but by that time, I had blocked her already and couldn't help her. I don't really know what happened to her after that, but I'm just glad that she seems to have given up on following me around after that. But I'm sure everything wound up fine. Probably.